Hello everyone, I'm Nick Murphy. Today we'll be bringing you another high level ZVP MVP Donner Goovers Liquid Hero Game 6 of their series at uh, IPL Fight Club. So far, Hero is up 3 to 3 to 2? I've, yeah, 3 to 2. So, uh, Hero's in the lead. Donner Goo has a hill to climb. We have the Blue Zerg player spawning down here in the bottom position of uh, uh, Metropolis. The uh, cool version with the uh, neutral depot we have MVP Dongregu the blue zerg player his opponent is over here the red protoss player spawning in the right hand position the three o'clock position liquids hero so we have a probe scout going out at nine gonna go scout the um, close by air first which is normally what you do uh, doing that nine pylon scout just to make sure there's no early pools uh, no 6 pool, 7 pool, because DRG did do that on Taldorium, and it worked out very, very well for him. Uh, he was able to keep the uh, Liquid Hero on one base for a ridiculous amount of time. And uh, obviously that ended up working out for him. One base Protoss isn't exactly viable. Um, so we have a little bit of probe harass here. Uh, one drone going to be picking away at the probe as well. A 15 pool goes down. Same old story, same old build there. Um, we're going to see probably an early hatch come out here if he can get it down and uh, if the probe doesn't go ahead and block uh, block him. He's probably going to continue following that probe uh, just because so he can know if he wants to block or anything. Back here we have a forge going down first. Kind of a strange choice. Maybe he's he was looking to... Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, usually you can get away with Nexus first. On, I mean, this is a roughly, I mean, this is a reasonably long travel distance for the links to go. Um, the 15 pool, you could completely get away with the Nexus first uh, versus that. But maybe, uh, maybe Hero has some uh, really good timing, cannon timing or something that I'm unaware of. I don't really play Protoss, so I couldn't really tell you. No gas yet from Hero. Uh, I'm going to be putting that 18 Nexus. No pylon quite yet either. Um... And there's the pylon at 18. Gonna be putting down a gateway next, or actually a cannon next. Um, just a little side story here I've been thinking. I kind of find it weird how you almost never see Protoss skip the cannon, but you also... The only reason the cannon's there is if, just in case, uh, Zerg will come in with Lings at around now, but... Uh, I don't know, usually it doesn't really play that m much of a role. You can uh, block off, block this off. If links do come and attack, you can always block this area off and then put a cannon, and the links won't really be able to break through in time, and you'll be able to get a cannon up for sure uh, most of the time. I don't know, it's kind of a little bit weird. Actually, you know what, now that I think about it, it's not that weird. Um, you don't really want to, uh, I I'm just thinking you may as well delay a cannon as long as possible, but I guess if you can't get this wall up in time, then you're pretty much screwed. So, I guess they're just, they just don't want to take the risk. It is pretty risky, now that I think about it. I changed my mind, absolutely corrected myself there. So I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, so DRG putting some overlords in position. Doesn't actually see that really early third gas, very, very early. Um, he does see, oh no, he doesn't really see anything. But that early third gas can be very telling of uh, what's going to happen. Because that is extremely early, so we're going to definitely see some tech. Maybe some, this is uh, highly unlikely, but quick DTs are possible. But most likely just going to be Stargate. There's the Stargate. Maybe even double Stargate with a gas that fast, because there's hardly any probes. Mining, and he's got three people on each uh, of his three gases. He might even add a second Stargate and just go all in with it. Just make a ton of Phoenix uh, Void Ray. Uh, back here at Dongregu's base, we have the third uh, just about um, going up here. Going to be getting saturated as quickly as humanly possible. This uh, third is already saturated. And now just adding the three gases. Standard time at 6.30, he adds three gases. Most Zerg players, and there's the second Stargate that I was talking about. Anyways, most Zerg players like to go for two gases at uh, six minutes, and 
Um, DRG just decides to go 6.30. Getting three gases, it's a little bit of a different style, and it can work. It just depends on how you play it. Sorry for uh, zooming in a little bit, I'm getting used to uh, using this mouse wheel for a little bit smoother, uh, smoother camera panning. I'm just getting used to that. So anyway, DRG comes in and sees absolutely nothing. He just saw the cannon. He saw the forge was not spinning though, so that's a very, uh, a very big indicator that something strange is going down. And he must suspect Void Race by now because he sees these zealots with zero zero. The forge wasn't even spinning, and um, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. I mean, he must suspect something like that. He must suspect Stargate by now, maybe. Possibly. I don't think I would in the heat of the moment there. If it's the first time I see it, I probably wouldn't have uh, picked up on it. But DRG may may pick up on that. Um, we have a Void Ray passing the path of the Lings, and he just gets a little tiny glimpse of it. Did he spot it, though? I don't know, but he will spot it right now. There's the Void Ray. Going to be picking off that Overlord, most likely. Actually, no, the Queen's going to be able to uh, kill it in time. Well, no, actually, never mind. The Overlord will go down, but the Void Ray will be very damaged. Actually, only one hit from his health is taken away. His shields will regenerate, so uh, he'll get all that back. It's not a huge deal. Warp Gate is finished, but uh, still have not uh, turned this into an actual Warp Gate quite yet. No real reason to do that since he can't really afford a unit right now. He's uh, still working off the double Stargate Phoenix, and he just has two Void Rays and a whole ton of Phoenix, and still more on the way. Donner is forced to mass up spore crawlers and even gets a, uh, like, I don't know, uh, extra queens, lots of spores everywhere. We have, so he's, he can't live off this kind of composition forever. He's going to have to get hydras or, or infestors at some point. Did he transfuse the overlord? No, he didn't have enough energy. That's very unfortunate. So we see uh, queens fighting by the uh, spore crawlers. Very wise decision. Um, spore crawler is still in range of that mofo there. And, uh, and the queen almost uh, survives, but not quite. They trade a queen for a phoenix, and that's a, a, a decent trade for the zerg player, I think. And a void ray goes down. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, target the void ray. Uh, there you go. And a void ray goes down, and some transfusers could have gone off down there, but he wasn't quite fast enough and this one doesn't even get cancelled just gets killed tons of void rays this one will get cancelled and it get no it gets killed yet again void rays uh or sport crawlers over there tons of uh phoenix i'll ever wonder can the phoenix uh lift an uprooted sport crawler i don't know probably not just a whole mass of sport crawlers going down here five more on the way in his base here hydrogen finished five hydras on the way this is just an insane number of Phoenix, he's just doing crazy damage to the drone line. Seven drones killed, killed so far. Tons of units killed. This Void Ray is going to go down. There it is. It goes down. Another Void Ray. And this Sport Crawl is just about to die. Very sad. And oh, actually, it doesn't die. Will the Void Ray go down? Not quite. Very sad. Um, so anyways, absolutely no drones in this base whatsoever. An Overseer comes and sees this. And a Ling goes and sees a third being taken. Still so many Phoenix. Oh my goodness. They don't have much energy though, so these Hydras will be able to chase him away. He won't be able to micro out of this one. Um, no matter how good his uh, lift micro is. So we have Roaches and Lings just sitting at the Watchtower. I'd be, I'd, it would be kind of surprising to see him uh, waste lifts on those uh, right now. So 10 Overlords on the way. Kind of weird, but uh, we do see uh, Desperation move or something something of that nature still heading on the phoenix um 13 phoenix on the field absolutely ridiculous i actually don't think he can hold this very well i think don Ryu has a good chance of actually breaking in um there is so many phoenix though i mean i wouldn't be surprised if that much lifted off actually uh made something happen still only plus one for uh for him oh lifting off the hydras one at a time killing them off and now the Phoenix will be absolutely like nothing can damage the Phoenixes anymore. And he'll and they'll be able to just uh, pick up roaches, pick up maybe random wings if, if the uh, need be. Uh, one sentry does go down though with a decent number of uh, decent amount of health. A lot of probes go down there. Did a lot how many workers did he kill? Only three. But uh, it's still very 
it's still good, cost efficient, I mean, but um, right now the pro bleed is in favor of Hero. Now it, DRG just evened it up, evened it up. But um, it's never good when the uh, worker counts are this close in ZVP. The Protoss is uh, at an advantage. And with this many Phoenix, he can just kill Overlords all day. And it's just gonna take uh, DRG so much extra larva, so much extra minerals to. Uh, okay, and he actually just GG's right there. Um, I guess. I guess he was really far behind, but I wouldn't have called it GG quite yet. But uh, yeah, he was in. Yeah, actually, he was in a terrible spot. There was just way too many Phoenix, and. Um, he was done Phoenix production, went into Immortal production, that's just double uh, Robo production. So, yeah, that yeah, that was GG for sure. Um, so yeah, we see Liquid Hero taking the series 4-2. to two. Mm, Very sad for Dongryu. Couldn't quite pull out a win. Oh well. Um, this is very unfortunate. So, this has been high level zvp series hope you enjoyed it um if you have any questions about the cast or about starcraft 2 strategy leave me a comment in the section below it'll be answered in the next video if you have any replays you want me to cast send them in to nickyboy99 at hotmail.com thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it i'm nick murphy bye bye